was that potential nor'easter that is going to be happening this weekend. And let's show you what's going to be happening across the mid-Atlantic as well as uh, northeastern states. So uh, those of you in Pittsburgh, Charleston, as well as Lexington could see a little bit of snow here on Friday, topping out in the upper 20s for Pittsburgh and low to mid-30s for those of you in West Virginia as well as Kentucky. Then we are throwing in that element of surprise here with that nor'easter. Bottom line, the models keep going back and forth in terms of the exact track of this system, but we do know that it is going to be impacting some part of New England. Will it also impact parts of the Northeast here? That's what we keep going back and forth about, but we do know that we're going to get some cold air in here uh, for those of you in New York City as well as uh, Connecticut into northern New Jersey as well. We will likely top out in the low 20s and see a little bit of some light snow at the very least with this system. Look at Erie, Pennsylvania, 11 degrees on on a Friday night and then that nor'easter really starts to ramp up and likely will end up clipping of uh, those of you in the Boston area. We will top out on Saturday right around 25 degrees, 15 degrees for those of you in Bangor, along with some snow showers. We could see some of that snow also popping up in places like Burlington as well. It's going to be a windy one for those of you in Altoona, Pennsylvania on Saturday, topping out only around 19 degrees. Maryland, you could end up getting clipped with this system as well. So we we are putting the threat for some snow there uh, likely as well. We'll top out right around 28 degrees and then Saturday night. We're going to go down to 17 for Burlington, 23 for Portland and 26 for Providence. It's going to be windy for those of you in New York City, bottoming out right around 29 degrees. So what's basically happening with this nor'easter? Well, we do have that huge dip in the jet stream, and that is part of the reason why those of you in places like Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, and even Minnesota are seeing some very cold uh, temperatures here over the next 24 hours. We have that developing low, and what's going to happen with this low is it's going to end up tapping into some of that cold air, and that is part of the reason why you do have the potential at seeing some uh, significant snow totals across uh, parts of the Northeast as well as New England. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.